Now let's get into De La Hoya. And the only reason that I'm telling you this is because he is a lion, two-faced, hypocritical sack of shit. And I hate him so much that I love to prove that he's a lying, hypocritical, two-faced piece of shit. All right, so let's start. I guess we'll start with his, um, when, when he started an MMA event. Okay, he did his first MMA event. And just for the record, you guys could figure this out too and do this. This, is, this isn't some, some deep investigational journalism here that, that you couldn't have done. You guys can all look this up yourself. And um, so all the former UFC fighters who were on, uh, on his card made more in their last bout than they did for his event. Most of them made more in multiple or all of their UFC bouts, right? So 17 of the 22 fighters got less than the starting compensation in the UFC. The guys who fought on his MMA card. Now, where I'm going with this is this asshole, every time he opens his mouth, acts like, number one, oh, you're not paying your fighters. You know, why are the fighters not being paid? And, um, and he acts like when he put on an event, like he pays more than we do or something. Yeah, you pay fucking Canelo a shitload of money, whom you couldn't even hold on to. You couldn't even keep. He fucking left you too, right? How about this? I, I, I have 650 fighters under contract. He had fucking one that mattered. He couldn't keep them. Does he still have Ryan Garcia? That only, yeah? All right, good for him. That'll be another two weeks before he fucking loses that kid, okay? Um, 12 of the 22 fighters got less than the compensa get, got compensated less than what we pay kids on the contender series, okay, on that MMA event. The la so the last time, remember they were, he, he, the, the big narrative for that one was Chuck and Tito are going to make more than they ever made? Yeah. The last time Chuck Liddell made less than $250,000 in the UFC was in August of 2004 at UFC 49, okay? The last time Tito Ortiz made less than 250000 in the UFC was February of 2005 uh, for UFC 251. What do those have in common? They were both, that, and, and just for the record, that was when we were still $40 million in the hole. We weren't making money. We were 40, 40 million upside down. That was the last time. After those dates came the ultimate fighter and everything started to change and grow, right? So think about this. Chuck Liddell, his last fight in the UFC, right? Chuck lost five of his last six, right? And he still made on his last fight in the UFC 10 times more than what Oscar paid him. Okay? Tito Ortiz won one of his last nine fights. Tito Ortiz's last nine fights, he won one. He made 12 times in the UFC for his last fight what Oscar paid him. So it's not like I'm giving you numbers, oh, Tito was the champion, and this is what he made, and he got a piece of pay-per-view. Chuck was the champion, he got a piece of pay-per-view. This was the last fight on their contracts after Tito won one of his last nine, and Chuck was uh, five of his last six had lost. Okay? So there's another fucking lie from Oscar De La Hoya. Um, let's get into Volkanovsky. He's very concerned about Alexander Volkanovsky for some fucking reason. Like, he needs Oscar De La Hoya's help, right? Think about this. Oh, wait, let me get into this first. So what you've been handed, I could have brought 30 of these, okay? I brought one because it's June 9th, 2021, okay? This was a fight that just happened in June. It's a Golden Boy Promotions fight that this dickhead put on, okay? There were nine fights, 18 fighters. The total purses paid for every fight was $36,500. Total. The average purse per fighter is $2,000 on a Golden Boy De La Hoya card. Let me start again. He's concerned about Alexander Volkanovsky, okay? 
before we pay $1 in fucking purse money, right? Volkanovsky got paid more to wear his UFC Venom kit than Oscar De La Hoya paid the entire fucking fight card. Do you understand what I'm saying? To walk out with the Venom fight kit on, he was paid more than Oscar paid the entire fucking fight card. I could go on, but I think we all get the fucking point. He's a liar, and, and what his interest in talking about the UFC is, and this is the thing. Every time somebody comes out and says, oh, you don't pay your fighters, you don't pay your fighters, I could come out and do this every fuck. I'm not. I don't, I don't give a shit. You don't, you don't like the way we pay our fighters? Too fucking bad. Go start another MMA organization, and you go fucking figure out how to do it, and you can pay them $10 million a fight, $30 million a fight, whatever you want to do. We run a business. We've been very good at it. Not only do we run the business, we continue to grow the sport and, and, and take everybody along with us, you know? Tonight, like, like Laura Sanko said, um, you, you know, th this whole contender series was all foreign guys that are coming in here to fight. Everybody makes money. Everybody makes a living. You know, there are some hard stories and some sad stories. Some guy came in at this. You're either fucking good enough to be here or you're not. This is the big leagues. It's like the NFL. You can either last here or you can't last here. But people get paid. People get paid a lot of money. Um, any questions about this sack of shit and his lying? Just last one. Do you ever think about maybe suing him for defamation? You know, you can... no, I, listen, I'm not suing anybody. I, 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 always, I always say this, you know. We all talk shit about each other, you know. They don't like me. I don't like them. We all don't like each other. It, it is what it is. This, this, this is a very mean business. We say mean things about each other. You got people out there to fucking lie. If I lied, guys, if I lied the way that this fucking scumbag lies and these other guys, if I did this shit, and there's so much more on De La Hoya. He, like, he owes people money that fought for him that he hasn't paid. The list goes on and on. If I ever did any, imagine if I still owed a fighter money from fucking a year ago. You would crucify me on a daily basis. This guy, nobody gives a shit. And the only reason, I just despise him so bad that every time he fucking lies, I, I point it out. And still, people don't give a shit, you know? If you look at, take a look at a lot of choices this guy's made in his life. He gets away with a lot of shit. I think just losing Canelo is probably an indictment on his ability as a promoter. What's that? Losing Canelo is probably an indictment on his ability as a promoter. I said it to him yesterday, and I'll say it to him again. He accomplished a lot of great things in boxing. Outside of the ring, the guy is an absolute fucking loser. He's a liar and many other things. And I can't tell you, maybe you can tell, how much I despise this human being. But um, that's the only reason that I'm even fucking doing this. This is it. It's the last time. I'm not, I'm not uh, going out again. I mean, last time he did it, I was on Sports Center, and I laid out how he lied and, and facts, and then here we are again, you know? Yet this guy keeps opening his big fucking yap. Um, he's, he's amazing. Some of the things that this guy's done in his fucking personal life, if that, if that was me, I'd be living on some fucking island somewhere and nobody would ever see me again. I'd disappear. Poof. The fuck happened to him? We know what happened to him. He got the hell out of town before he bumps into somebody. So, Dana, just outside of Oscar, right, all the, there has been a lot of talk on fighter pay lately, right? And the number that gets thrown out is 16 to 18% of revenue around there. I guess, can you talk about Is that right? Is that accurate? None of your business. It's none of your business how much it is. That's it. I mean, that, 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 that's what people, people are always asking about. Um, you know, what about this? What about that? Listen, if you don't like how we run our business, go start your own. There is no barrier to entry to get into this sport. Anybody can do it. Many have. A lot of smart guys, too. Cuban, Trump. The list goes on and on. A lot of guys that have gotten into this business. There's, I hear there's new guys coming now. I wish them all the, all, all, all the best. You know, anybody can get into this business. If you, if you don't like how we're running ours, you go do it yourself. 
I guess the last thing I would ask on that, is that a discussion that you guys have in terms of like reviewing, like, hey, should we be allocating more of a percentage towards our fighters or should we increase the... F fighter comp has gone through the roof over the last five years since the sale. Um, you know, and, it, and it's going to continue to go up. So, yeah. Dana, since this is probably going to be the last time we're going to talk about Oscar, something that people have always wondered is, the genesis of where the beef started. Yeah. So what started? Yeah, yeah. So we were cool at one point. I'd go to his fights. He'd put on fights, and I would literally use my social media to talk about the fights. Hey, you watching Oscar's fight tonight? So all the things that I had done for this guy, you know, for when he was having fights and shit. Then we do Mayweather versus uh, uh, McGregor, and this guy start goes on like a PR tour telling people not to watch the fight. It was a disgrace to boxing. But he would fight Conor McGregor, right? It's not a disgrace to the sport if you fight him. It was just, I was like, first of all, I'm involved in this fight. Why would you tell people not to watch somebody's fight? What do you even care, right? Like, what do you, it's, I just laid out how he pays his fighters and what he does. But you're concerned about my fighter comp? Right? The, the, the problem with Oscar De La Hoya is Golden Boy is fucking tanking, in my opinion. And, uh, you know, so I, I don't know what the fucking, you know, the guy, I, I wish I could tell you, you know, the, the, he's an asshole. I mean, other than that, I, 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 I don't know. And he's a liar and a lot of other things. It's not just, and that's not just my opinion. This is the second time that I've laid out facts for you. He's talking about paying fighters. He did a card in June where the entire card, total purses, was 36500 